You first of all, you don't need to memorize the equation. You just need to understand the parameters that we're talking about. The first parameter we talked about was V max that they came up with, which means that every enzyme has a V max, and that V max occurs when all the enzyme is saturated with substrates. It's working full blast, working as fast as it can work. Okay, always occupied with substrate. That's the first important parameter. When the enzyme is sub saturated with substrate, it's, it achieves its Vmax. The second important parameter they introduced is this KM parameter. And KM really incorporates all the kinetic parameters from before. I mentioned before, K1, K-1, K2. But simply put, KM represents the affinity of the enzyme for its substrate. What does affinity mean? How tightly the enzyme binds a substrate. So if an enzyme binds a substrate tightly, it would require small concentrations of that substrate. So let's say an enzyme binds to a substrate at has a KM for its substrate, 10 micromolar. That's pretty low concentration. That means it has high affinity for its substrate. Okay, you with me? Let's say the enzyme one, uh, needs 10 millimolar before it binds a substrate. It's therefore you can say it has low affinity for its substrate. The very important, very important take home lesson about KM, which I always say, and half the class gets it wrong on the test, <laughs> is KM is always a substrate concentration. When it's low, it tells you the enzyme has high affinity for its substrate. When it's high, it tells you the enzyme has uh, low affinity for its substrate.